Hello once again to another ranked game of mine. This time it's Byzantines with their Ubits on Golden Pit. I think it's Golden Pit. Something on. Yeah, the map is called in the middle. And. Yeah, I knew that my opponent plays a Ubit, so I didn't want to play another Ubit mirror. And I wanted to test my theory with it because I got pretty much smashed by a Byzantine player as so the Ubits would just get Mass Horseman. I just wanted to check the theory if that is actually pretty good versus a Ubits. Yeah, you can get Spearman out with a Ubits and should be fine against it then, but I think Mass. A Ubits versus Byzantine? It's funny enough, one of the few matchups where Byzantines is a really bad early game, I would say normally, but versus a Ubits, they actually do quite well. Also, yeah, I don't have really good Byzantine builds, and I use the resistance way too. Not enough, I would say. What the fuck are these fucking builds with our humans? Jesus fucking Christ. To a gold, eight on food, why? When you have eight on food, you don't need eight on food. You need only seven on food and three on gold and you age up faster. I do my typical three gold. Eight on food now, but this... A Ubits or Abyss that you don't need that much on food, also if you fucking put the guys on yeah, right spots, they would move shorter and it would be more effective. How your 10 guys are... what the f... Are the opening villagers he sent here or what did he... What the fuck did he do that he's... So bad with the academy. Now he has nine guys on. Okay, he now sends them to gold, so he has four on gold, that's still not enough, and he has zero on wood, so he runs out of wood soon. Oh, he has already zero wood, and he won't get enough to. He will get supply blocked. Jesus fucking Christ. Now he has 7 on gold, what's actually uh, correct. Hey, he now realizes shit man, I have to go on wood. This diamond or conqueror. As a conk one, diamond three, diamond two, something around that level. So I have the same age up time than he does with uh, three guys on Hippodrome, then he has the Bassa more or less. Because he fucked up this build. Jesus fucking Christ. At least he got his house just early enough so he didn't get the supply block, but now he has too much on wood, I would say, and not enough on, on gold. What does he get? Villagers. Supply block, yay! And skirmishers. The skirmishers could have gotten out 20 seconds ago if he had a correct build. And now he sits in his base, what the f- Why he- just sent them over to my base and the squad is fast anyway. Oh god. I don't know why he doesn't get for the two more traders. Also, it seems like it he. Yeah, I have parked my scout here, so I see his gold and his woodline. 
going up and he doesn't see it in return. Most of the skirmishers are a little bit annoying. But yeah. Lucky for me, I already have horsemen and horsemen deal quite well with skirmishers. I see, hey, he moves all just two traders. Let's interrupt this with horsemen. First of all, that's 43 gold for me. That's 125 wasted gold for him. And they won't do a single trip. He now goes on my gold villagers. I think he either survives just so, yeah. First trader down, second trader down. He is now here in my wood line and I go for his gold. So he already wasted 125 gold for his traders. I find it fascinating that the traders actually are quite cheap <laughs> compared to villagers because two traders cost 160 resources normally. For episodes they cost um, 80 resources, also 40 gold, 40 wood. I think also for Ubits. Maybe a Ubits one are uh, normal cost, but I think they cost the same as Abbasid. I really know the horseman back here to deal with these two skirmishers. I probably move this, need to have to move this wood line away. And then going for the raid down here. Got another villager. So. Sadly, he killed the horseman for that. But yeah, I killed two traders, one villager. Maybe I should focus actually the skirmishers, but I want the uh, scout down so he doesn't have vision. I'm still waiting here to see when he goes to gold again, so he can't use this bazaar. That's up in 20 seconds, and okay, he has enough gold for three passages. They can't use all of the stacks there, but I think he still could still get his first trader stack out, but he doesn't do. He tries to get a tower out. This is another villager. So that's 80 gold now for me for free. He also doesn't cancel the outpost. Moves the villagers back. That's such so much idle time. And probably another village. No, not another village at that because I pulled back. He gets now a barracks down, sends them to food. He's on a lot of food. Also, what's this bear response? Jesus Christ, that's so fucking unfair. My bear response, his bear response. Behind has the sea, and I, the only way I could run is there. He gets more skirmishers out. I don't know why he didn't go for swordsmen. They are to actually be okay versus horsemen. Could was able to idle that once again. He gets another tower out. I move back in. Focus on the villagers. I think I yeah, bad focus of my side, but yeah, I get one of the skirmishers. I think I move this one a little bit back. So I have three, vill uh, three villagers behind because he, it seems he got another stack of villagers to buy. I killed two villagers. Oh, I'm idling what you see sometimes. I killed two villagers and two traders. He has three villager lead. So he got two more villagers, okay. Seems like it, at least. Yeah, sadly he got another horseman. I get another villager for that. 
with again 20 free gold and if I actually focus correctly it would, would be one more. Again bad focus of my side, one more village shutdown. And yeah the idle time just stacks up quite a lot. Yeah he gets that's 20 more gold. That's nine villagers now down. The beating swordsman would actually be has, would have been good. He now gets finally an outpost up. And sends this guy to gold again. I have still horsemen here. I have vision on it, but yeah, he has spearmen out, so I can't really go for it anymore. Get again idle time. Jesus, that's so much idle time. Again a villager, now I move up here. I move up here, yeah. Get two more villagers with this horseman. And he gets also out. So that's not 12 villagers dead. I have now a two villager lead finally. One more. Yeah, 13 villagers down. Fourteen. He now walls <laughs> his face off. What I actually absolutely love. He has now a shit ton of food and not enough gold. While well, I'm going for market in my backside now. So also a few Olive grows still only on one system. Now getting my second system. Not, not enough stone to completely connect it. Ah, I have enough stone now, but I was too stupid to move them at the moment. I think I will finish it soon. But it goes up to 10% more effective villagers. Just, I killed 14 villagers and I have only a 3 villager lead. So, no, I killed 12 villagers and I have a 3 villager lead. So he got how many guys out of the building? How many villagers did he get? He got around 8 villagers out of this stupid thing. That's quite good walls for him I would say. I'm going up with the golden horn tower. Actually the system would be okay in this case. Because I would, ha would have been a third system. But yeah, I like the Golden Horn Tower, it's just free mercenaries, yeah, if you have a higher system level, they spawn faster, but who the fuck cares. Sadly, the new to market was quite bad, no idea with this one. Hey, mercenary well knights. Would have been quite funny. He moves out with 9 spearmen. Smart move. Uh, I parked one here on the berries and yeah, I have a scout here, so I see if he wants to go trade or for these berries. And he's running out of food slowly with his last two berry bed patches, also his gold should be quite low now. And he moves into my base. Does he kill a villager? Yeah, he kills one villager. That's the second villager kill now. 
Should be his third villager kill. I activate the system. Yeah. And just kill the spearman with my villagers. So yeah, don't spearman push a fucking Byzantine player. It doesn't work, as you could see. Just activate this ability. And they go up to 10 attack. 10 attack and plus 3 armor. Uh, plus 2 armor. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's insane. He, he's now also cast the edge, got the upper mask. With a shit ton of villagers. I like to see also quite a bit now. There's now six villagers behind, interestingly enough. But using sweet dervishes. Is this is still idle? Okay. Why is this here idle? How long will his DC be idle? And yeah, I go with Swanian Guard. Varangian Guard, that's how they're called up here. He moves three of this. Also, he went up his military wing for three military units. Interesting move. Maybe to get a f castle aid? I have no idea, to be honest. He was off the rest of his base. Gets his first relic back. I don't know why he stands here. Gets phalanx upgrades. Gets uh, upgrades into veteran. Oh yeah, he he waits my wait that he maybe scouted. It seems he scouted it. Oh, he wants to go into my woodland. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's why. He, the six villagers behind, I have trade out here. Yeah. Makes sense. But I think the few traders I built paid okay off at the moment. Have a catafrag here. Wait, catafrags get debuffed by dervishes? Didn't know that. Good to know. Cut the fuck one. One berry. And more berries gone. I think I go to this now. I said would be a boar. That's quite good for me. I see the devilish now. Pull back, but he has three desert raiders. Um, desert raiders are actually good versus knights. I found out. I think they're better versus knights than versus horsemen. <laughs> Mm, yeah, media attack. I had to move the cataphrag out. I don't want him to give. I don't want him to have a cataphrag. He gets more or less for all the relics. lot of um, desert raiders but to be honest i don't fucking care if he goes spearman desert raiders that's amazing for me because yeah i don't plan to keep on producing calf units i just build a few cataphracts to be annoying more or less i go for mass varangian guard also yeah my tower of golden tower i Build here a mercenary house and get for mer uh, Western mercenaries because longbows and longbows are really good versus the traders. Still only three eco units uh, behind. 
that's just insane how much eco you get from this stupid building. I don't think I idled my TC and he did. And I killed 14 unit villagers and he killed 2 villagers. I have 3 Kyrosophon. Kyrosophons. That's how they call it. With Wedding Guard in them. Got this mill down. Go for farms now. Go now for Spivix. I have Wedding Guard here. That got attack, attacks a little bit. Now I put them out. And I will switch them to 200 weapons, what I think could be a mistake. Because they have two ranged armor, but they are a lot more damage. Maybe that's actually good versus the Desert Raiders, because they have a lot of melee armor. Get another barracks, and yeah, his army here is more or less dead. And now his villagers start to die. He built a keep down here. I think I. Let's see when I notice that. I really. Ain't get here right now. Forty villagers dead. Oh, he also produces archers, amazing. This is the only thing that keeps in the game at the moment are his five relics. I now notice, oh, he builds a keep and kill all his villagers down here. Now I start to burn down the keep. Let's see if he cancels it. I doubt it. I think I just burn it completely. He finally kills the last man at arm his uh, running guard in his base. And yeah, it's now 17 villagers to 65. I get 3k more value as well. And yeah, I also can keep now. That's 900 stone extra. He goes for a farm transition, ran out of gold. I transition to his berries now. Still have a cataphract down here if he gets traders out of the House of Wisdom. I, to be honest, I have no idea, but he still keeps in the game. Is in the game. He knows I'm on trade. To be honest, I didn't build that much more traders. I only have five. But he goes for weak pair with 20 villagers. Jesus Christ! Just drop two three TCs if you want to stay in the game. The problem is you don't have any gold, so yeah, you have a decent gold income for the per minute from the relics, but. And you get three military units every few seconds, every two minutes, I think. Yeah. And you can buy villagers here. But yeah. We have now 14 arch uh, longbows, 31 vending guards. Five more on longbows, so we go up to 20 longbows on 35 running guard. Versus, yeah, an absolute job on units. And that's why I wanted to go longbows, because, yeah, desert raiders don't do well versus longbows. As you can see, yeah, he has a few camel lancers, and camel lancers are actually quite good versus my army, but yeah.
burned on his mask. Well, went for his second mask in this case. So yeah, his build was quite bad. His choices with the bazaar wasn't the best. But yeah, I think Ayubits, funny enough, lose to Hippotrom. Byzantine's quite hard. Golden Pitted. Yeah. So if you look at the <laughs> village account, he was more or less. Yeah, here I lost some versus his skirmishers, I think one. Here I had a short idle time, it seems. Here I lost another villager or two. Versus the uh, two, uh, two villagers versus spearmen. Or one villager versus the spearmen. And straight up. So I could have been. That's two village. A little bit of idle time, it seems, as well. So, yeah, I could have been three more villagers up in a perfect game or something like that. And he still is more or less all the time at the same economy like I am. And I killed at the time 12 villagers here. He's 12 villagers down. <laughs> to be fair, he's. The difference is the military spending. I get a lot of military units out in compared to him because he actually has to spend it on villagers. That's even worse. That's more or less a third of and fourth. 25% of his eco is just so bloop gets up here. Jesus. He overtook me here in Eco Eve again. I didn't idle, I lost two villagers. I killed 12 villagers and he was up in fucking villagers here. Our uh, economy count. And I killed two traders here as well. That's ridiculous. To be fair, I had a lot more food, wood, gold, stone here I had more. I didn't think I mind even stone, it's just from building buildings with Byzantines. But yeah, 10% better villagers. And if we look at idle time, 13 seconds to 1 minute and 20. Average villager idle time. So it's so he was at average with his villagers, didn't do a minute and 20 seconds, nothing. Okay, he got five relics. And somehow that makes him his. Uh, gives him 10 more society score. The score in society makes no sense for me at all, like always. Age up time 4 8 is okay, not good, but okay. That's just pretty bad. But yeah, that was a nice horseman delay in the early game and kept him quite at bay. And yeah. 120 units killed. 52, 52 to 120. 11 buildings raised. Largest army, 136. And 1.6k more score. Oh well, so yeah, I think Byzantines are quite good versus Ayubits. Uh, and he had a really, really good spawn, to be honest. The double save food and not even forwards gold. 
Nothing was fully forced besides the Woodland, maybe. But yeah. I hope you learned something, had a good day, and yeah, that's how you counter a Ubits. Play with some teams. With horsemen. Uh, with cavalry focus, because that makes absolutely sense. Versus the strongest anti cav uh, to play cavalry, because. <laughs> that's so stupid that fucking Byzantines with horsemen. I think also Ottomans with Sifahi do better versus. Um, Ayubids, Desert Raiders, than Knights. Feudal Age Knights, I, I said, uh, Desert Raiders sucks absolutely. They. I don't think they are pretty good, but Jesus Christ. Also, yeah, they win versus Genetic Horsemen, cost efficient wise. But I have to say, they smack Kashyyyk, they smack early knights, and okay, so far he's, they absolutely destroy. So, and so far, so far from Malians, they absolutely destroy. So they're actually good versus the heavy calf and the light calf. They're not good against because light calf. Also, they versus the light calf. They are pretty weak because yeah, bonus damage versus ranged units. And sadly, this is why this are ranged units, and that's why they get beaten by horsemen. Also, they still win versus generic horsemen, but Byzantine horsemen and. Japanese horsemen with a mounted cut a banner man. Still, actually. Okay, against them. And yeah, Byzantine horsemen are probably at the moment. One was this. Also, in traits like that's the best horseman because of the triumph ability that they get here and 25% more damage and more speed. Safari in mass. Should also trade amazingly well versus them because of the double ranked attack. So, yeah, probably that's the two best Sifts versus the Desert Raider. I. yeah. So, yeah, I hope you learned something. I wish you a good day and best of luck in your game. See you. Bye.